Would you like to learn from Mercedes designers? I would. I know it sounds a little bit unrealistic, but you can actually learn directly from Mercedes designers. In this video, I'm going to show you some details about that. I'm going to show you some student works who are already living that dream. And I'm going to make a small Photoshop car design sketching demo with you. Last month, I did a workshop with mobility design students from Mobile Design School from Budapest about Photoshop. It was very intense and effective, so we thought it would be nice to show you a little demo about this. MOME is also the sponsor of this video, so thank you for that and let me give you some information about the school. If you are planning to study car design, MOME is one of the best in Europe. The school is located in Budapest, Hungary, and it is an amazing city by the way, I've been there last summer, and me and my wife even thought about moving in for a while. We cannot do it for now, but hopefully we will do more workshops with MOME and I will visit Budapest more often. MOME is in collaboration with Mercedes-Benz for car design education for 20 years. Yes, 20 years they are collaborating with Mercedes-Benz. I think it's very important for it. Not only cars actually, the students can work on different mobility fields like trains, ships, yachts, drones and so on. I think this is why it's called the mobility design program rather than only car design. So you can have a chance to design the future mobility solutions under the mentorship of the faculty of MOME Design and Mercedes-Benz designers, including chief designer Gordon Wagner and director of exterior design Robert Lesnick. You can see more details on their website, but one very important thing is the deadline. 31st of the May, which means end of this month, is the deadline to apply for this program. If you have any questions, you can directly contact the school and let's see their website together. So this is the website and I will leave the links in the description of this video so you can also take a look yourself. Design Masters in English. You can see the application details here and the deadline. Yeah, that's the important one. The end of this month, don't forget, you need to apply. You don't have a lot of time, but I think it's good for putting together the application. You can see the contact details here. And what I want to show you, because I know you are excited about, is the Mercedes collaboration. This specialization explores responsible solutions to address the mobility challenges of the future through designing a vehicle or transport system. So I think this is one of the video from their exhibitions from past. <laughs> 20 years of collaboration, that's impressive. <laughs> Mercedes-Benz's collaboration is exactly 20 years old this year. In our team, uh, the students, they do not just work on a typical creative student project, but they work on, on detailed design projects on the real stuff. So they have a real contribution, they make their proposals. And I have to say, sometimes the students, especially from the MoMA students, they are they really very good. I Our goal is to design world's most desirable luxury cars. And uh, we need people who help us to fulfill this uh, goal. And uh, this, is, this is the right address. I'm pretty sure you saw before Robert Lesnick's sketches, official sketches of Mercedes. Amazing work always, let's see. So this super cool style, this hand sketches with very little touch of the colors, touch of the blue, the sky reflections and the other digital works are from him. And he is leading this collaboration between Mercedes and the MoMA Design School right now. That we give our know-how, that we give our ideas, our comments on the students, but also we benefit from the students. Car design is something that has a lot of potential and bright future. I will not go through the whole details of the website, but you can also see some news like shaping the future of mobility in Budapest. Again, here, Robert Lesnick, you can see the Mercedes-Benz cars directly and you can learn a lot about this collaboration. Also here, we can see some projects, I think, from past. On their Instagram. I couldn't visit the school physically when I was in Budapest and also for the workshop we did it online, we had to do it online. But I'm looking forward to go there for exhibitions and for this uh, grad shows and doing the workshops physically, face to face. 
Here is another video that we can directly hear from Gordon Wagner, the chief designer of Mercedes-Benz. For me, what's most um, impressive is the level of digital design and visualization I'm seeing here. That's amazing. Not only how you model your cars, uh, but also even more how you animated it and put it in a movie with dramatic music. It was very touching, I think. and I, I loved every, every clip of this. I mean, I can imagine just being there, just uh, seeing him, I don't know, having potential to talk with him and other designers from Mercedes, from the faculty members. Like, there's something, you know, passionate about car design. Like, I love studying car design. I love designing cars anyway. But having this connection, seeing it in person, doing projects together with other people, it's always something impressive, something inspiring, I can say. So it's really, really nice to see this video. The way I use Photoshop is to develop my sketches in a better way, like to make it to the next level in a digital way to show the surfaces and some more details in a better way, but not making it in a photorealistic direction. Because if I need to do something photorealistic, rather than spending all my time to separate it sketches, separate it to the images, I would go to 3D, I would model it in 3D and already get my results in a better way. But for Photoshop, it's also very important because when you don't have enough time to do 3D, even a quick 3D, or if you don't want to invest this time, you can just take your doodle, put it on Photoshop with a couple of brush strokes. In half an hour, you can do amazing results. You cannot model in half an hour, right? So Photoshop is there something in between of this realistic approach, full package, the realistic renders, and the small doodle. So it's a digital sketching. And that's what we wanted to do with Mome on the workshop because we wanted to show students that how quickly they can show their ideas in the digital work and you can create many variations. So I want to show you one example, one of the first uh, sketches we did during the workshop. So we had a very, very quick doodle here. This one was our first sketch. We were talking about the proportions of the car and some little surface treatments. And then we just scaled it up into our canvas. And the first thing was putting the shadows like to show the reflections and to show the surface treatments of this car. And after that, as a next step, we just put the shadow underneath the car because it's not flying at the end. And the stance is very important on a car. So we added the hard shadows. And it, you can even see if you zoom in all this imperfect bright strokes, very rough style of working. And it really adds a lot of speed to the workflow. And you can see here, I just put groups now to show you in a better way, but normally they are unnamed layers. Some of them are even empty layers because we used a lot of shortcuts to just quickly put the idea there. And this is a very easy minimal style, one of my favorites, because you directly start working on a white background, white everything just on the doodle. And just with a couple big brush strokes, air brush strokes, you can start to see the car. Like the next step was just putting the greenhouse because it also adds this contrast on the sketch and gives the depth to the interior. And already on that level, I think we just start cleaning the sketch into this level. Like you can see, I started to erase the surface treatment because now we can see it with the bright stroke. We don't need the sketch underneath that much. And after that, adding some details, a little bit of reflections, and you can already understand the car overall. And of course, adding the wheels and the signature and increasing the contrast a little bit and done. This was one of the techniques we did with MOME design, mobility design students. And I got very good feedback from them. I heard they already use it on their Mercedes-Benz projects because very quickly you can apply it into your workflow. By the way, this was only one of them. I also showed them a couple of other styles that I really like to use. For example, this one, we can see the little bit of sky reflection on the red car. I think it's, it works perfectly fine. And a little bit of crispy reflections here, you can see. This is also another technique I really like. We have a solid color background and painting only the center of focus of the car. Like in this perspective, you focus on this area of the car. So I just made it silver car paint here and adding the shadows and shadows and reflections only in this area. So you don't even need to paint actually the rest of the car. So it was very effective workshop in three days and three half days actually. We did uh, many different techniques and really amazing results by from students. And I just want to show you actually their results. Here we see Zoltan's work. It's very nice dramatic perspective, by the way, I quite like it. And these are from another Zoltan, and you can see the contrast and the crispiness of this metallic car surface. 
it's also quite good. This is from Toth. I think it's like by keeping this sketchy lines, it also adds another style, another type of taste to the sketch. I also quite like it. And you can see here a bit more reduced sketch lines. I know it was very intense workshop, but just after a couple days seeing these results really amazed me. These are from Orban. Also, you can see the results directly from the workshop. Pretty cool. Like, whenever I see a Porsche, I just cannot stop saying it's pretty cool because, you know, it's Porsche. These are from Matthias. And you can see how this yellow is very strong and then the car is getting lost with the background, kind of blending into the background. But you can focus. You, you know where to focus when you see the sketch. So this is really pretty cool. Good job. Another example from Dorotia. You can directly see what we talked on these sketches as well. Some works from Evelyn. I, it feels a little bit dark. I think you can add a bit more, like it's like giving a feedback now, but uh, you can add a little bit more white and crispiness to the sketch. Uh, but I remember those works because we talked a lot about the feedbacks during the workshop as well. And I can tell you that some of these students are from the Mercedes group. Some of them are more beginners. Some of them had experience with Photoshop and some of them were just the first interaction with the Photoshop. So it definitely takes also practice to bring them into the same level, into to develop yourself. Improving yourself is always an important part, of course. And in that case, I would also first focus on the proportions and the overall feeling of these cars. However, you can already see on the digital painting, like this digital painting part is easier after you understand all the basics of car design proportions and perspective and so on. And these are from Adam. It's one of my personal favorites because I really like, first of all, the exaggeration on the proportions. It's really sporty feeling and the surfaces of the car is very clean and I, I really like these ones as well. Also that sketch, you can see this sharp reflection adds a lot of crispiness to the sketch. And these ones are from Dorina. By the way, I'm sorry if I messed up the names and surnames. Here you can also see what we just talked about. But the sketch lines are, are a little bit thick on some of them. But again, like, it's not copying the style directly from someone. It's not like learning doesn't mean that you directly have to do 100% the copy-paste of the other style. This kind of differences I really like to see because it adds different personality. So in that case, she took what she learned from the workshop and added her own style and mixing it. And it's quite good job. The students and teachers of MOME are shaping the future of mobility in Budapest. If you are eager to become a mobility design expert, apply to the Design Master program at MOME by 31st of May. The Smart Mobility Specialization is attracting talents from Central Eastern Europe. I put some links in the description of this video about the Mercedes collaboration and the other details of MOME Design School. So if you are interested in applying and studying car design, I would highly recommend to go check out these things. If you like this video, don't forget to show it on the like button and if you are new, subscribe for more car design content. See you in the next video.